Can I come in, sir? Please. Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. Good, Good afternoon, afternoon ma'am. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. Nisha, you are not a Sikh, are you? No, sir. No. Because your surname is Grewal. Yes, sir. You don't write it. No, sir. I don't write it. Why don't you write it? Uh, so my parents registered me as Nisha only in uh, during the tenth boards. Oh. Yes, sir. Have I joined? Now you had written an essay, uh, on Beti Bachao, right? Yes, sir. What is the the gender ratio of Haryana? So the sex ratio in Haryana is eight hundred seventy nine. Uh, and so the child sex ratio uh, in 2011 was 834, but now it has improved to 920, sir. And uh, over a period of how long? Uh, sir, after the launch of Beti Bachao Beti Padhao scheme, there was a tremendous uh, 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 behavioral movement that was launched. So it has a very good effect, sir. And this happened uh, when was the Beti Bachao launched? So it was in January 2015, sir. 2015. Yes. Sir. And within five years, that much of improvement has taken place in yes, child sex ratio. Yes, sir. Excellent. What is the national sex ratio? Sir, uh, it is 934. 934. Are you sure? Sir, I I made it. Check early, yes, sir. Check early. I'm very happy you come to the board with a very refreshingly different, you know, kind of a candidate. You have finished your BA in 2019. And this is your first attempt for the UPSC. Yes, sir. And you have cleared the mains, and you have come here, and is is very nice to have a feeling of a young person who right after B. This is what I think UPSC and IAS are all about. You are not supposed to have post graduation PhDs, take eight attempts, nine attempts, whatever you are entitled to. Nobody can stop you. But it's nice to come across a young person who can be molded into the ethos of what all India services are meant to be. Thank you so much, sir. And I'm very happy to see you here. Now, two or three things which I would like to ask you: uh, You did history, and your other subjects were. Sir, it was a program course with two main disciplines. That is political science and history, sir. So very good. So either of them could you have opted for your optional? Yes. So sir. what did you opt for? Sir, I opted for political science and international relations. All right. Now, when you come to political science and international relations, normally what happens is people start asking questions about current events and international relations and so on. Let's shift gears a little. Let me ask you a few questions on political science. Now, there is a category. If you had done your PG, you may have have done optional paper. Indian political thought. Do you think that there is some such thing as Indian political thought, or do you think it is a patriotic expression uh, of our love for our thinkers, and we say that they are political thinkers? They may be great social reformers. They may be great freedom fighters. They may be great mystics and spiritual masters, but can you call it a political thought, political thinker? So that's my first question. I will not ask you more than two questions. So this is the first question. Sir, there is often this opinion that India lack a strategic thought in terms of political science disciplines. I'm not getting into strategic thought. Now, strategic thought takes us into a different direction altogether. Yes, I'm staying with my formulation original. Plain and simple political thought. You have or political philosophy. Yes. Sir. You have Socrates. You have Plato. You have Aristotle. You have Hobbes, Locke, Rousseau. You have Machiavelli, and you could, you know, bring in Marx at a pinch and say these are the political thinkers in West in the Western political theory. Everything might become with Greece. It might come to Marcus Aurelius. It might come to Romans. It might come to Saint Augustine. It, you know, you would have a thought, but this kind of political thought. What I am arguing with you is that do you concede the point that this kind of political thought exists 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 in India either ancient or modern? Yes, sir. I do think that there is a Indian uh, political thought that exists with its specific qualities and specific features related to our Indian subcontinent, sir. Uh, starting from Kutilas Ath Shastra, which is such a seminal work on administrative state craft. Administrative state craft is not exactly political philosophy or political thought. That is why I would, when you said strategic thought, I would like you to stay away with that. Cortilas Arthashast is a manual for statecraft. It is not necessarily. Yes, sir. Well, it has elements, kernels of immorality, and you could compare it with Machiavelli, but no. Can you come to something political thought thought? Sir, in India, there is a often convergence of the spiritual element that is dharma 
with the state craft sir this is a unique uh, aspect of indian political thought even in the buddhist political thought sir we can see this convergence you say buddhist political thought can you name one buddhist political thinker uh, no sir i i uh, i don't know about it sir so don't make a statement which you don't know about you are saying that this can be seen in buddhist political thought and when i ask you to name a political thinker buddhist political thinker you say no that's one the second thing is that you are making much too facile a coincidence in indian religion and dharma and thought in the indian political philosophy dharma is not religion dharma is the cosmic law yes sir. natural justice which is rith but we will not get into that can you name three modern indian philosophers political philosophers you may have come across it in your syllabus you don't have to agree with me this is not a test of your knowledge this is a test of how well you handle questions under pressure yes sir sir uh, the modern political philosophers can be considered as mahatma gandhi Uh, sir B R Ambedkar and Sir M N Roy. Fair enough. I will leave it at that. You will not include Arvindo in that. No, sir. Arvindo Ghosh is also very important Because political philosopher. Because he has philosopher. talked specifically about Indian, of the Indian context, Indian experience, Indian past, etc. Yes, I'll leave it at that. What's the importance of your college, Miranda? Any important personalities that you can name uh, from your college? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, uh, former Chief Minister of Delhi, uh, the uh, Shrimati Sheila Dixit was from my college, and there are uh, various. Ma'am, uh, uh, I'm forgetting the name of the Kathak dancer and very important personality. Uh, Artists. You mean, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Um, okay. Ma'am, there are se several uh, actresses in the entertainment industry that also hail from the college. Name. Ma'am, um, ma Malika Sharawat is there. Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, you do mendi designing yes ma'am so what do you uh, do you how do you do this mendi designing do you prepare it on paper and then sort of copy that or do you directly do it what do you use ma'am i use the cone do you use a ready made cone or what yes ma'am i use a ready made cone and i uh, i uh, Uh, I experienced this hobby by applying henna directly on the hands of the brides, ma'am. I I usually went to the uh, to my village, and therein who are the families which are not so financially well off. So I apply the bridal mehndi to that, those girls, ma'am. Have you taught any of them? Have you tr tried to give them the skills so that when you don't you are not there, they can do it? Yes, ma'am. Often they ask me that how do we do that. So I I taught them that we can first do it on paper and then we can start doing on the hands. Where is your village in Bhivani? Yes, ma'am. It so is. So what is the village and what is the importance of Bhivani on the map of India on the map of Haryana in terms of uh, culture or heritage or any aspect that you feel as an industrial town? What 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 would you highlight her Bhivani's uh, strengths? Ma'am, Bhivani ha has been given three names. First is Mini Cuba because of the number of boxes that the city gave to the Indian sports culture. Secondly, ma'am, it is also known as Mini Kashi because of the num. There are two, three hundred twenty Shiva temples in Bhivani district, ma'am. And thirdly, it is also known as City of Defence Heroes because there is a huge contribution in the army to from the uh, Bhivani district. Ma'am, coming to the cultural aspect, Bhivani is also being mentioned in Aine Akbari as a very important commercial centre. in terms of economics ma'am there are important textile centers the first uh, textile industrial uh, township was uh, established in bhivani uh, and ma'am sports infrastructure is also well developed what about status of women ma'am the current sex ratio of uh, bhivani is 881 and no, status as in social economic not birth rates yes ma'am Ma'am, the uh, there are certain elements of patriarchy because of the uh, traditional milieu of the district. However, ma'am, we are gradually seeing a change in terms of participation of women in different activities. Ma'am, there are many players which uh, which have come from Bhivani, so there is a diversification in the career opportunity as well. Ma'am, the Fogart sisters have been excellent. Uh, 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 amb ambassador like personality to uh, to inspire girls from bhivani district uh, and ma'am uh, in civil services as well and in other uh, government uh, services as well the contribution of girls have been increasing and that have inspired the parents and the gender attitude to a great extent ma'am very good thank you thank you ma'am okay uh, ms nisha um you come from a very illustrious college the moment miranda is mentioned people start thinking of the many many celebrities uh, 
it is given to in India and their optional is PSIR. Uh, I just wanted to ask uh, you an imaginative question because you, everybody is talking about what is happening in Afghanistan, the way America conducted itself and uh, it's also being uh, the, the, the weighed in terms of the, the moral or, or the, the ethical, uh, the duty that you have towards a country where everything is under your control, the military control, administrative control. Once Hillary Clinton, when she was fighting the election for the US presidency, she said that America is great because America is good. Uh, you have been in debate competitions, declamations. Uh, how do you react uh, if you hear Hillary Clinton saying these lines? Actually, he, he used these lines. But today, if again she uses these lines before you, how do you react to that? Sir, America is great because it has great political, strategic interest globally. Do you think, no, she said that America is great because America is good. Sir, I partially agree. Do you think it's great because it's good? Sir, I partially agree with the statement, considering that it is one of the oldest institutionalized democracy in mm -hmm. the world, which has established a very great, uh, elaborate constitutional values. And sir, uh, the, uh, the movement the, uh, after the American Revolution as well, there has been that spillover effect in terms of awareness about the rights. So in terms of that, sir, America has contributed to the uh, democracy of the world. However, sir, recently we have seen that uh, America is trying to impose its values on the developing nations and try to... Uh, there are the thousands of Afghani citizens who worked in good faith close collaboration with the American interest and the British interest, but now they have left them high and dry. Actually, the one of the top generals of the UK, he was, he was openly accepted that, uh, that uh, it's sad, but we can't do anything about that. And America also gave the name of all those people who have worked with him, but at the same time, he's not able to evacuate them. Don't you think that it was such terrible, terrible uh, ethnic poor judgment about the things that America has done? Sir, the issue in Afghanistan is very complex, sir. And the fallouts of the decision, there were certain factors. Anyway, just one more thing I would ask you. Okay, thank you. Uh, just one more thing. You have written in your DAF that you wrote once a legal paper that related to the legal literacy. Yes, sir. You are a student of political science. Can you tell me that what is the importance if you are to write the same article again today? How would you comment on the Article 20 of the Indian Constitution, its importance? Sir, Article 20 of the Constitution is important in terms of justice and in terms of criminal jurisprudence of the uh, uh, to establish that the uh, the accused is given proper justice before uh, he is being convicted. Sir, uh, sir, Article 20 gives that uh, protects the convicts in terms of that there should not be double jeopardy. There should not be, uh, this, uh, the same person cannot be punished for the same crime twice. Sir, there is also uh, detention. Sorry, sir, I have to read about it. It's okay. Uh, but you might have read about the, 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 the retrospective legislation that uh, the India 2011, that regarding that access. You might have heard that how India has taken it back. What is the position of the constitution about uh, the retroactive uh, the legislation in terms of criminal laws? Sorry, sir, I cannot recall at the moment. You cannot have one in the criminal laws. That is clearly says the constitution itself. Okay, that will do. Thank you. Thank you, Nisha. Your mock interview is over. Please give your feedback. Your answers were extremely satisfactory. Some things you don't know, and then you say that you don't know. That's good enough and honest enough. An answer, you are not supposed to know everything. This is a basically, as I said, is a test of your personality and presence of mind and how you perform under pressure. So on that count, I'm very happy. Uh, but as a student of political science, um, you have an independent mind of your own. You don't have to go by what the syllabus prescribes and says these are Indian political thinkers. You do not even have to concede that there is. That's why I have framed it in a manner where it gave you an escape route. So we can say what we are taught was Indian political thinkers, but when I apply my mind critically, they might not necessarily be. On, on that one in political thinker, radical humanist, and then Roy would probably fit in very well. A person with great native roots, uh, Yogi Arvindo would fit in very well. But uh, Baba Sahib Ambedkar and Mahatma Gandhi would 
would be you would be stretching things. That's why I qualified my question by saying that it may be a great freedom fighter, it might be a great uh, social reformer, but not necessarily a political thinker. And an Indian political thinker. Because if Baba Sahib Ambedkar is taken as a political thinker, he is drawing on the stream of constitutionalism yes, and sir. the Western political thought. So that's different. Yes, uh, when is your interview? So September 14. So you have about a fortnight. I request the chairperson to tell you how best you can enhance your performance for that. Yes, thank you, sir. Yeah. I should have asked you about adventure sports. Which uh, sport did you participate in? Sir, uh, I did river rafting, uh, rappling. Sir, uh, sir, river rafting, rappling, and sir, uh, mountain climbing. And sir, these are the adventure sports. Oh, quite a few. Very good. Very good. Now, two things uh, you, you may like to do. Take out your DAF, read it carefully, and try and uh, call out questions. Uh, anticipated questions yes sir. about 100 questions 110 120 as many as you can yes sir. so the of course we have to be ready with the answers then yes, sir. so that will be make you comfortable they will, it will take care of surprises secondly which newspaper do you read sir i read the hindu uh, express indian express and the mint and the mint They're very good papers all three do you take notes from the newspapers yes sir every day yes sir did you write any, anything yesterday? Uh, sir, I could not because of the mock Day interviews. before? Yes, sir. Day before? Yes, what sir. did you write? Do you remember? Yes, sir. What? Sir, I wrote about national monetization pipeline. National monetization policy day before yesterday? That's older than that. Uh, that so the Mint gave a... a Mint gave something. Yes, sir. All right. Out of the three papers, which gave you the maximum information useful for civil service? So the Hindu. The Hindu? Yes, sir. All right. Okay, so I pick up five items every day and make notes. Okay. okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. And do you have any questions? Sir, the question regarding Article 20, I just went blank. I just uh, connected with your legal literacy. The yes, sir. Literacy. That's sir, why I asked you. Actually, I could not conclude the answer, sir. I, I just... Um, but I think you were on the right trajectory. You touched the, the important issues. It's only that you trailed off somewhere in between. But I, still, still you started well. And you almost covered the, the issues that can be there. So that was good. Maybe it would have been better if you had finished with... Uh, yes, sir. Finished it properly. Sir, I should not have left the answer in between. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. You're very good. You're very, very good. And very first attempt is brilliant. So, uh, can I also know the percentage I am uh, of the marks? That is the we hadn't decided, but uh, we'll do it in right in front of you. <laughs> Madam is our judge. <laughs> seven, she says, I would go 0.5 more. I would say 7.5. 7.5. Really? Yes, indeed. Yeah. Because, uh, because it's very graceful, confident. And humble presence uh, it did not look like um, fuzzing or boasting or rather bluffing. All these things absolutely did not do that. So that's very very good attribute of a candidate. As for the knowledge, it keeps increasing every that's day. No, Sri Ram school is uh, from the same Sri Ram no, family. No, no sir, no. Nothing sir. to it do with different. that. Yes. Different. All right. And uh, which which is your village in Bhivani? Sir, it is Bamla. How it is ten, is? ten kilometers from ten Bhivani. Kilometer. And your family has been there for a, for a long time? Uh, yes, sir. But now we have shifted to Bhivani, uh, to for, Bhivani. To Bhivani. since five, six years. All right. Okay. Very good. You, you're, you're, you're very good. Well done. Thank you, sir. All the best. Ma'am, anything I can um, improve upon in terms of... Uh, I think you should know a little more Delhi's, uh, you know, the itihas and the heritage of Delhi, especially ancient Delhi, because, you know, everywhere the people are talking about knowing the antiquity and the timeline of India. So that terms like Prayagraj has come up. So you should, maybe if you know something about pre-Sultanate Delhi, it would be nice how Indraprasth, how the name Delhi came, ancient places of Delhi. Yes, sir. And about your school, uh, uh, Mahatma Gandhi's daughter is from your school, a uh, granddaughter, sorry, Tara Gandhi Bhattacharya. So it would be interesting to know. From uh, my college. From, college, yeah, from yes. your college. Ma'am, Shobhana Narayan was the Shobhna Narayan. Mm -hmm. Shobhna. dancer. I was yeah, yeah. forgetting yeah. the name. Yeah, yeah. Shobhna. Well, there was a time when uh, St. Stephen's College was all boys college. Yes, and sir. And St. Stephen's and Miranda House got along. Yes, sir. So now that uh, St. Stephen's has got its own girls, so uh, where do you girls from Miranda go to to find boys? 
<laughs> St. Stephen's is still a good place to it's find right. poison. <laughs> right. uh, overall, um, Miranda has still that glory attached to it since <laughs> time immemorial. Sir. So, uh, it, it was a very uh, transforming experience to be a part of that. You would think Miranda girls are better than St. Stephen's girls? No, sir. I am not making Why that not? comparison. Why should you not say that? <laughs> Yes, Why should you be irritated about that? You yeah. go, you belong to an institution, and there is an institution yes, of pride, and there is an institution of loyalty. Yes, sir. Yeah. And it has, as you say, a more interesting, more glamorous, named after a daughter of the former yes, Morris Goyer, yes, Delhi University, older than LSR, yes, sir. and also much better respected than IP. Yes, sir. So why not say so? Yes, and sir. And uh, since Stevens became a. So Miranda made me fall in love with Indian ancient history. The the teachers there are. Teacher there? Uh, Prabhaji, Prabhaji Chief. Snigda ma'am. Snigda ma'am, all right. Yes, sir. So, Very good. So, know oh. the history of Delhi. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Sir. Thank you, ma'am. And Thank also you. the constitutional provisions that are used to Delhi as well. They should be very much aware of that. Some recent developments. Good luck. And wear such a pleasant sari, simple and sober. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.